Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about a very emotional and personal story on how I actually managed to fail my PhD. Yeah, I'm making this video in order to help you guys, first of all, to not fall into the same traps I fell. And secondly, I want to show you how to restart your dissertation if you have had a longer break like I did, for example, and how to come out of all of this stronger than before. All right, so let's dive right into it. So first of all, I should have joined a community. I was working at the time as a uni researcher at the university full time. So I had access, and even if you're not working full time for university, you have access to certain workshops that connect PhD students. I did not join them. That was one of the main, main, main mistakes that I did. That's the number one trap I fell into. You need people who have similar goals around you. You need to surround yourselves with these people. You need to meet up. You, you need to have writing sessions. You need to befriend them. You need to be in that environment for you to blossom and for you to make progress. Yeah. So if you have any opportunity to join a community or friends, do it as soon as possible. Secondly, try to pin down your research questions as soon as possible. Narrow down the things you want to do research on as soon as possible, because if it's too broad, you will do research and read so many articles so many literature that you will feel confused at the end of the day. So try to find a title and that title can change more or less, but try to find a title that more or less defines what the research question is and try to focus on that. Thirdly, I want to talk about writing a PhD whilst having a full-time job. So at the time I was working as a uni researcher full-time for the university. So my third biggest mistake, maybe even the second one, was not using the time properly and taking on other tasks outside of my PhD that I didn't necessarily need to take on. So at that time I was partially working for a law firm, doing research for them. And I think in hindsight, I should have focused more on my dissertation. I shouldn't have taken on too many tasks and I should have used the time being able to work full time on your dissertation. So after that, yeah, after I finished my job at the uni, I started a full time job and I and I realized although I had maybe left six to seven months of uh, full time research to maybe finish first draft of my dissertation and now with a full time job that six to seven months will extend to two or three years. I'm not joking. If you're working with a full-time job, it's hard. It's really difficult. So if you have savings and you only have a few months to finish your dissertation, then live off of that savings, yeah? And just finish it before you work full-time. Otherwise, I would suggest to maybe work part-time if that's feasible for you. And if you have to work full-time, like me, for example, then you need to have a dissertation project management system going for you, yeah? It has to be bulletproof because it's really, really, really hard to to write a dissertation whilst having a full-time job. Which brings me to my second point, how to restart your PhD. So I left university in the midst of 2000, 23 and I started a full-time job uh, in a law firm and after that I worked in uh, for the government basically in the field of public law asylum law so whilst working full-time I realized that it's really 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 hard to work on my dissertation which is why I took a break and I thought it would maybe dure a few months but it ended up being I think one or two years one and a half years and I regret that so I had to find a way to motivate myself getting back on track getting back on the horse getting back on researching and and starting to write my dissertation which is really really hard if you don't have a certain structure so I want to show you a certain steps I went through which made it easier for me to restart my PhD so step one I reflected on why I stopped my PhD. I reflected on all the traps I was talking about because I did not want to fall into the same ones again. So I needed to know why did I stop writing my dissertation. That is step one. So step two, I knew that it would be really hard to get back on the horse regarding writing a dissertation, regarding hard work of researching and coming to conclusions and insights. So I took the leap to just read my dissertation. I just read my dissertation. I just wanted to reconnect with the enthusiasm that I had when I started researching on my topic. So I started reading my my dissertation and the more I read the better I felt. Step three, seek support. Yeah, so I am deliberately looking out for a community and, and I've already found certain workshops provided by the university which I want to join this time. Yeah, so community accountability is key. That's what I'm looking for. That's step three. Step four, I came up with a dissertation project management system. I came up with a system that would make it easy for me whilst working full-time to 
work on the weekends or work on the evenings after work or on the weekend and start actually doing research. You need to have a certain system going on for you. Um, if you're interested in that system, uh, write a comment below and I will share with you my project management system regarding my dissertation. And in this notion system that I have, I follow certain simple steps to get from exhaustion and not wanting to work on your dissertation to actually starting and doing something and having progress in that regard. And in that regard, I want to emphasize to set small goals, tiny goals, yeah? Reading one article in a week is good. It is great, yeah? Especially if you have an exhausting week at work, yeah? So set yourselves tiny goals. That's like key philosophy in my project management system regarding my dissertation, yeah. And lastly, I want to share with you the emotional side of restarting your dissertation. Although in the beginning it's really stressful and you feel very anxious and you have doubts about finishing the dissertation, etc. I just want to tell you that just starting with the dissertation, just start reading it, just start reading an article. You will fall back in love with researching. You will fall back in love with your dissertation. So you need to trust me, just start. Just read your dissertation. So if there's anything you want to take away from this video regarding restarting your PhD is read whatever you have written. And if you haven't written much, read whatever you have read before. Just start reading, just start with it. So take time to reflect, reconnect with your passion, set realistic goals, get yourself a community and deliberately start to take action, small steps. And remember, it's not about how many times you fall down, it's about how many times you get back up. And remember that statistically 50% of all PhD students leave their programs before finishing. So be the other 50%. You've got this.